What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams. It is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. And today we're going to continue our month of back to school films by discussing Bad Teacher, starring Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, Lucy Punch. Jason Siegel, Phyllis Smith, John Michael Higgins, Catherine Newton, Molly Shannon, and Christine Smith. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. As I said in the introduction, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And we're going to continue our week of school comedies here today with Bad Teacher. And as our movie opens, Elizabeth Halsey is a lazy, immoral, manipulative, gold-digging teacher at John Adams Middle School in Chicago, Illinois, who curses at her students, drinks heavily, smokes marijuana, and lets her kids watch movies so that she can sleep through class. She plans to quit teaching, marry her wealthy fiancé, but he dumps her when his mother proves to him that Elizabeth is only after his money, so she ends up being forced to resume her job. She tries to win over wealthy substitute teacher Scott Delacorte. However, her dedicated and enthusiastic colleague, Amy Squirrel, is also pursuing Scott. Meanwhile, Elizabeth continues to reject advances from the school's gym teacher, Russell Geddes. Now, Elizabeth plans to have her breasts enlarged, and she becomes more motivated to do so upon learning that Scott's ex-girlfriend had large breasts. Unfortunately, she can't afford the $9,300 procedure. Now, Elizabeth attempts to raise money for the surgery through the seventh grade car wash by wearing provocative clothing and manipulating parents to give her money for more school supplies and tutoring. But her efforts are not enough. When Amy tries to inform the principal about Elizabeth's embezzlement, he dismisses her claims when no evidence can be provided. Scott then tells Elizabeth that he is attracted to Amy and only wants Elizabeth as a friend. Upon discovering that the teacher with the highest state test scores will receive a $5,700 bonus, Elizabeth decides to change her style of teaching by forcing the class to intensely study to kill a mockingbird for the test. However, since it is late in the school year, combined with her unorthodox teaching methods, the students score low on the book quizzes. Further frustrating her. Meanwhile, she befriends Russell as Amy and Scott begin dating. Elizabeth plans to steal the state test answers by impersonating a journalist and seducing Carl Halibai, a state professor in charge of creating and distributing the exams. She convinces Carl to go into his office to have sex with him but instead she drugs him and steals the answer key. One month later, Elizabeth wins the bonus, completing her needed funds, and she books her breast enlargement surgery. When Elizabeth learns that Amy and Scott are chaperoning an upcoming field trip, she smears an apple with poison ivy and leaves it for Amy, who ends up with blisters covering her face and cannot go on the field trip. While on the trip, Elizabeth seduces Scott. They dry hump and Elizabeth secretly leaves Amy a message through Scott's phone recording all of the action. However, Scott's ever-changing ideals disappoint Elizabeth. After her student Garrett is taunted by his classmates for confessing to an unrequited attraction, to a superficial girl in the class named Chase, Elizabeth consoles him 
and helps to make him popular, which prompts her to begin reflecting on her own superficial ways. Back at the school, Amy switches Elizabeth's desk with her own in order to trick the janitor into unlocking Elizabeth's sealed drawer. The evidence that Amy finds leads her to suspect that Elizabeth cheated on the state exam. Amy informs the principal and gets Carl to testify against her. However, Elizabeth took embarrassing photos of Carl while he was drugged and uses them to blackmail him to say that she is completely innocent. After being informed that her desk was switched, Elizabeth states that teachers in the school use drugs. When the police bring a sniffer dog in order to search the school, they find Elizabeth's mini liquor bottles, marijuana and Oxycontin pills in Amy's classroom, in Elizabeth's desk, leading to Amy getting arrested and transferred to another school by the superintendent. Scott asks Elizabeth to start over, but she rejects him in favor of Russell, having learned that they actually have a lot in common. When the new school year starts, Elizabeth has been reformed and has a new position as a guidance counselor. She is kinder to her co-workers and has started a relationship with Russell. She admits that she decided not to get the breast enlargement surgery because she feels that it is no longer necessary, and our movie comes to its close. This is now another film that I regret not having seen sooner. I enjoy Jason Siegel. I enjoy Cameron Diaz. Justin Timberlake as an actor has very rarely ever disappointed me. It's one of those zany, goofball school comedies You know, a little bit of disgusting humor like you would find in an American pie. So I don't know why I avoided it for so long. This was, it was funny. You know, I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like this was some amazing cinematic effort. Because it wasn't. But if you enjoy those raunchy school comedies of like the 80s and the 90s, then you probably would enjoy Bad Teacher. And if you couple that with the cast, like I said, Cameron Diaz, Jason Siegel, Justin Timberlake, Molly Shannon, then you've got yourself quite the ensemble of funny people. It's your traditional story of the slacker who gets reformed You know, she's very much akin to what you would think of Billy Bob Thornton in like Bad Santa or the Bad News Bears or Tom Hanks in A League of Their Own, like very much a similar type of journey that the character takes from being that unlikable hero at the end of the day to becoming the person that you really want to cheer for because they get their crap in order. Again, I just thought this was a great movie. I'm not going to go much more into it because I just feel like I'm saying the same stuff already. But I I thoroughly enjoyed this film. When it comes to my rating for Bad Teacher, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars because I, I can't get that descriptive on it. If I'm being honest, it's been a minute since I watched it to review it. I've been just overloading my brain watching stuff to review. I've got like five or six things ready to film right now for content. So obviously this is the oldest one in my brain. But three and a half out of five stars, I have a feeling that this is going to very quickly move up to at least a four star film in my rating scale. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of Bad Teacher. Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's have that conversation, that discussion, that debate, that interaction that I'm always asking you guys for in the comments below. 
And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel as we once again open up our vaults for another week of Throwback Thursday content. That's right. All your favorites are still here. You've got the Dads on Wrestling, the Renegade of Wrestling, Stat Boy Rants. You've got Talk Wrestling, No DQ and AV, the No DQ Review, the ATW View, the Indie Force Podcast, Open Mic Night, and more. All part of our regular Throwback Thursday content tomorrow. In addition to that, we are very fully loaded in content as right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, the Jeff Meacham Network, and across the Jeff Meacham Network Multiverse of Media, we will be presenting our next watch along, Impact 1000. That's right. We're going to be doing a watch along of the 1000th episode of Impact Wrestling Television. Simple Man Noah Foster will be on the call, joined by his newest cohort, Datilla, to provide color commentary for Impact 1000. And then immediately following that, once again, you're on the Casa D18 Studios channel, the Jeff Meacham Network, and across the Jeff Meacham Network Multiverse of Media, it'll be time for the flagship show, Talk Wrestling, now on its new day, Thursdays, regular time, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. But with the watch long, it'll be immediately following. And the premiere episode of Thursday Talk Wrestling is going to be a doozy as Jeff addresses the merger of WWE, UFC, Endeavor, into TKO. It's going to be a lot to unpack here tomorrow on Talk Wrestling. And then we will be back on Friday right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And we'll be discussing the teen comedy Can't Hardly Wait as we wrap up this week of Back to School Month. Starring Ethan Embry, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Seth Green, Lauren Ambrose, Peter Facinelli, Charlie Corsmo, Chris Owen, Jason Siegel, Jamie Presley, Sean Patrick Thomas, Donald Faison, Selma Blair, Jenna Elfman, Melissa Joan Hart, Jerry O'Connell, and Brecken Meyer. You don't want to miss out on any of that content right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, the Jeff Meacham Network across the greater Jeff Meacham Network multiverse of media. Throwback Thursday content can't hardly wait. Impact Wrestling 1000 Watch Alone and the flagship show, Talk Wrestling, all coming your way in the next couple of days. Again, you don't want to miss any of it. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out any time a video drops right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel or any time we go live. As is the case with Stat Boy Sports Bar, Open Mic Night, Pay Per View PLE Watch Long Coverage, etc. Share these videos with your family, friends, loved ones, co workers, movie fanatics, cinephiles in your life, fans of Cameron Diaz, fans of Jason Siegel, fans of Justin Timberlake, fans of Molly Shannon, anybody you can think of that would enjoy this content and this video, share it with them as it's the only way we're going to keep my visibility up in YouTube's algorithms. Now that we are, in fact, a monetized channel right here on the platform. Thank you once again to everybody out there who joined me and tuned in today. It means so much more to me than you guys will ever know. I will see you guys next time.
And now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.